Ryan Day named sophomore Justin Fields as his lead man under center. The transfer from Georgia beat out Gunnar Hoke and Chris uh, Chuganov for the job. And Fields, a dual threat guy, is the highest rated player ever to sign at Ohio State. Now, Mark, it was pretty much expected that Fields would get the nod, but um, do you trust Ohio State with him at the helm? I absolutely do. I am worried about their depth, though. They had a lot of guys leave recently, not just Haskins, but right, Tate Martell left. So, listen, they're, uh, they're riding this guy. they got to ride him all season long. He's got to stay healthy, and he does like to run a lot. So you might want to get down. You might want to slide. But I do think he's, uh, he's going to be a pretty special player. You bring up a good point, though, Mark. The team, Ohio State, will go as far as Fields will take them. Correct. I, he's going to have to put it all on the line. I, I don't know that he can even play with the mindset of, of get down or slide because he's got to be the savage. He's got to be the sure. dog. I, I like the Ryan Day offense. You played in it. I played right. against it when we were both in Philly. I'm just, I'm not convinced, Cassidy. When you say trust Ohio State, mm. I don't trust them to be the Ohio, same Ohio State they were with Urban Meyer, the second best team record-wise over the last seven or eight years in college football. I don't know if I trust them to be that elite. No knock on this year's team, but credit to what Urban did consistently for the last several years. That's just hard to keep up with. What I like is Ryan Day is an offensive mind, and he's been great with quarterbacks, as Mark right. can talk about. So he's going to help ease his new quarterback, Justin Fields, in properly. He's going to set up a game plan, and he's going to accentuate his strengths That's every right. single time. I think we're going to see him run the football some, and they're going to allow him to use his athleticism on the field. And one thing that hasn't been mentioned, they do have a guy named J.K. Dobbins, yeah. True. who's one of the better True. running backs right. in the country. So you're talking about not he's going to have to put it on his shoulder. He doesn't have to put it all on but his shoulder. But let's talk about they got not, other players too. It's not just what Ohio State can and will do. The other teams are getting better. Purdue will be better because Rondell Moore will help. They'll help use him even more. I don't Nebraska, think they they'll be better. Yeah. Not necessarily, but I'm just saying Nebraska will be better. And Ohio State has to see Nebraska week five, I believe, after Ohio State has four relatively easy games. The Big Ten itself will improve. It's just will Ohio State improve with that same trajectory? I get it. How do you see Ryan Day really developing Justin Fields? Maybe changing his game? or how I think just like Dusty was talking about, this offense – People talk about, oh, they run the spread, they run the spread. They run the spread, but with some pro passing uh, elements, they're using a lot of drop back reads, progressions. You can see it all over, the, all over the tape, especially with Haskins, and that was really his strength. So if he can get through most of those progressions and then take off and run, and then when I say get down, I don't mean to run scared and slide every time. I just mean don't get hurt. Don't take the – well, that, <laughs> but don't take the extra unnecessary lower my shoulder on the sidelines yeah. Yeah. for no reason when exactly. we're up by 12 in the fourth quarter, just get out of bounds. Be you know, smart. That kind of stuff. Be smart and, and keep the thing moving. But keep these guys on task, um, and I know Ryan Day will do that. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.